Hey there everyone, um, ignore these sounds, um, that's my computer right now. Well, actually not really right now, but what's happening in game. So, uh, and today I'm kind of starting hmm, a little bit of a series, I guess, where um, basically I just go back and talk over my gameplay. So, this is some pretty, like, okay average Anna gameplay. It's diamond level, so, I mean, it has to count for something, right? Um, it's about 3,080, 3,100-ish, that's where I am right now, but, um, I just wanted to do this to talk over and not only just review my footage, but also get Overwatch out there, since Overwatch was something I planned to do in the beginning, um, when trying to play the, or start my channel. So I'm finally getting Overwatch content out, and the way I'm gonna do it is, um, I'm basically gonna record these games and just kind of just review over them, you know, Thank talk you. back and kind of just see the stuff I did wrong. So, um, I guess going back to that, um, what happened in the first part was I got separated and the Brigitte was actually smart to go back to the team and I should have followed her but I didn't which caused me to die to that zen. Um, that grenade on that tracer and the sleep on that tracer, um, I predicted the sleep wrong because I didn't know she was going to blink and I threw the grenade and it wasn't going to go over there because I wanted to hit the tracer, but obviously I missed, and uh, not missed, but I hit the Zarya in the back of the head. Um, either way, I knew I was going to have a grenade before the team fight, so, or at least close to it, so I was able to do that. Now, this right here, I should have, it was questionable whether I should have used Nano here. Um, I assumed they were going to use Zen, oh, and I was right, okay, but I didn't have Bionade yet, so, um, I wasn't too sure of using um, Nano there was a good choice since we blew a lot of ults because not only do we use Zarya but we used Torb and we used Hanzo and Hanzo was acceptable I don't know why we used Torb there but in I don't know just looking back it was very questionable whether I should use Nano there or not um, their Zen did ult kind of late so I'm not too sure if Nano would have made a big difference um, and obviously right here I'm just staying back a bit trying to keep the team alive uh, that's one reason why you kind of want to stay away from the team for grab situations like that. As uh, I almost got sucked in, but really didn't. Um, again, I almost got the sleep dart on this Genji, but I missed. But uh, you know, when going up against the Genji, just kind of keep your chill, I guess. I somewhat kept my chill there, which allowed me to kind of handle him. But I also had help from the Torb. Um, that was a pretty good sleep, probably helped a little bit, but you know, I'm very aggressive with my sleep darts and my nades right there. So even though their team was still going to back up and like get regrouped, it was good to use that nade because not only did it give me ult charge, but you know, kind of just warn them off or something like that. But um, oh that's my discord by the way, um, yeah I was just recording. No commentary when I recorded this, but now I'm just talking over, just be watching it. Now, this is miscommunication here, um, I should have waited for the Zarya, or at least talked to the Zarya when she was going to use it, because um, I should have saved my nade for that grab, but it's okay, it didn't matter in the end, because um, the Hanzo ult still killed them all, but still, it would have been smart to save nade for it. Now, I heard the sleep dart up there, and the Hanzo get put to sleep, so I chucked a nade up there. I waited a bit before I threw a nade, so I could help him out. Um, he still died in the end. Now here, I don't know, like, my team was slowly dying, and instead of trying to kill the Zarya, I went to try and kill the Pharah, which, you know, I did at the end, but it costed the Zarya and the Torb's life, so I'm not too sure if it was worth it, but whatever, I got out of there alive, which is okay, and I didn't get staggered. Um. I have nano for this fight, so right now we're just being waiting for regroup, and I'm kind of just peeking and using like the different levels to help me out because just putting pressure with Anna is pretty good. And now that you have an increased um, ammo capacity, you know you really should start shooting at enemies. Now I naded there because the Brigitte was actually hooked, and uh, I didn't want her getting one shot. And so, I don't know if maybe the nade would have helped or not. 
Now here, I would have hit that sleep guard if she didn't jump up. And this is just bad aim on my part. But, uh, I mean, it kept the fear off the point, so... Um, I guess it kind of helped. Just, you know, watch yourself when you're being attacked by a fair. If you're being attacked by a fair, definitely try and go, you know, shoot back at her, you know. It only takes three shots to head her, and if you have other teammates helping you, it can help the pharaoh go down pretty easily. Now, I skipped the whole part, so we're back here. The round's about to start. I usually don't do this, but I decided to peek in the beginning. Just because our Hanzo is there. But, uh, I just wanted to see if I can get early nade off for some charge, but, um, uh, I either missed or I hit the Rhine Shield or something. So, anyways, I'm backing off because, reason, you know, the team's pushing. Just gonna try and hold back. You know, looking about reloading when, you know, there's not a lot of action happening. So, here is kind of just where you need to get. Or, I'm just trying to keep people healed. That was a good grenade by me, but I should have reloaded while that Ryan was asleep. Because now look, I'm reloading now and it costs my Ryan life. So I probably should have waited, or I should have reloaded earlier. Now I'm backing up. Now I actually saved the Zarya's life for a very long while and I actually get nano out of it. I was actually considering nanoing her there to save her, but um, I didn't because I just didn't want nano to go to waste. So I made it out of there alive. Fortunately, so now I'm just sticking behind the shield waiting for regroup. I mean, like I said, I'm just watching back over this to see, you know, how I can improve. And so far, I'm doing okay. I'm sticking with the team, you know, backing up when it seems like the team's lost. So over here, I'm just sticking with the Ryan. I'd rather stick with the Ryan as Anna than other people as, um, I think, I believe we have a Moira, maybe? So this is a big hammer down. Time to really, you know, pay attention. So, and out of the Rhine, not only to just do damage, but to also soak up some damage. As uh, our Rhine did not get shattered down. And I basically nano him just so he could hold his own for a bit. Now I'm ashamed I missed that sleep dart. I should have had that sleep dart, but uh, the tracer went down either way. So I don't think it would have mattered if I hit it or not. But yeah, you don't always have to use nano in terms of uh, offensive, you can use it defensively. And basically, during that shatter, I just use nano to uh, scare some people away as well. Because uh, nano and Ryan is still scary, despite all the chain, like every, all the new heroes and stuff. And I should have hit that sleep dart on the Zarya, but I missed. Now that nano. It saved the Ryan's life for a little bit, but because of the enemy Ryan's shield, I couldn't kill him out through that Pharah, so... Slept the Zarya, which is fine, which allowed me to live a second longer, but... In the end, it didn't really matter because that Tracer was there. I probably could have saved that Zarya's life if the Tracer wasn't after me. But, I mean, it's a, it's a lost team fight anyways. They used some ults, we used some ults. Now we're just going back to holding. So right now, I'm just, uh... Focusing and luckily that Ryan didn't go after me, but I backed up into the tracer. I should have been paying more attention to her. Um, I heard her, you know, behind me the entire time, but I didn't bother to turn around. And um, you know, I ended up paying for that because not only did the Ryan come from behind, but I also backed up into her in the end. So be aware of your surroundings. Anyways, so we lost the point. That grenade was supposed to hit the Zarya, but I missed and hit the, the Vegeta right there. Now that was like a good sleep dart. You know, I'm very aggressive with them. Even though that sleep dart really didn't give us too much, um, it still allowed me to, uh, the team help take less damage. So unfortunately I couldn't out heal the Pharah, or yeah, the Pharah damage, so like I said, go after the Pharah yourself. It only takes three shots and then you know, if you're lucky or if you're good enough, or if the Pharah just doesn't realize what's happening, you can pick her up pretty easily. That was a good sleep though. Um, but unfortunately what happened right there was I woke him up. And the only reason why I woke him up was because I was going to actually nade myself to heal myself because the tracer was on me. But I was too slow to do that. So you could see I actually hit the hit Rhine and uh... 
you know, was gonna go for the nade, but I got killed before the nade went off and kinda just woke him up and did nothing for him. Again, another miscommunication. I wasn't talking to my team and um, I missed the nade on the ground. Either way, um, I was close, but the nade hit the wall. Again, using nade just to scare people off to confirm that we're holding the point. Um, even if like that nade really didn't do anything, like only got one or two kills, it still forced them away. That's my reason behind it. So uh, I'm just pushing up here to try to keep our tanks alive, helping out in the Ryan one v one battle with just a sleep bar. Even if the run keeps swinging, at least you'll get a little bit extra time. Now, if that grenade went faster, I would have probably saved the run there, maybe, but I'm not too sure. Um, unfortunately, my sleep guard didn't go off there. Even though she pulled it out and shot, um, I guess it didn't register. Which sucks, and I died. But, um... Anyways. We're holding the point again. Oh yeah, when I died, I skipped out all my dying parts. I didn't die too often in this game. Is it everything I dreamed of? Yes. Yeah, it really was, but um... Our, my team managed to hold it, yeah, I guess what I was trying to say. So here's where my bad aim really, like, hurts me. Oh, and this was pretty... This was okay. Um... The Brigitte used the rally, which kind of saved our lives there in the grab. But right there is where my bad aim kind of failed to keep that Zarya alive. I probably couldn't have kept her alive if I zoomed in, but I didn't. So now we're just kind of regrouping. Again, being aggressive a little bit. I have a peak point right here, and you know, just getting one shot off could like, I don't know, distract them long enough or freak them out a little bit. Even if you don't do much, like just the the dying noise from Anna's shots can is enough to freak you out. Now I could have saved that Ryan with the nano, but I had a feeling, like I don't know, I had a feeling he would have died before I was able to out heal it, because nano does give you a defensive boost or a damage reduction, and I probably could have saved him, but I missed the nade and my shots, so he kind of just died there. But he's back, and we managed to hold the point anyway, so that's okay. So, I have Nano. We're kind of just waiting to see what happens. And kind of just healing things up. Keeping away from everybody, but also keeping out of line of sight from people. So, I subbed somebody back there, and I threw her nade back there, so... I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Again, nanoing the Ryan because one, there's not a lot of other people to nano, and two, just a big brute force there is nice to have. Another good throw. This match had a lot of good and bad throws in it. So it was bad. That sleep tart probably helped a bit, but wasn't really necessary. And here just comes this big fail where I missed the Hanzo completely with the quick scope. But uh, anyways. I don't know. Do you guys like this vi kind of video that I'm doing? Do you want to see more like that? Or do you want just like straight up gameplay with no talking in it? Because that's how I made this the first time. But uh, yeah. That's the video. Um, me just commenting back on over what I could have done differently and stuff like that. And I'm just a diamond level Anna. It's nothing great. But yeah, 15k healing. Almost 16k. It's not that bad, I guess. Anyways, um, let me know what you think about this kind of video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Goodbye!